Well, new tonight, a lawsuit is claiming mayoral candidate Larry Turner does not live in the city of San Diego. And if true, that would make him ineligible to run for mayor. Turner, a retired Marine and a community relations officer with the San Diego Police Department, is refuting those claims. Our Zara Barker reports. This 61-page lawsuit claims mayoral candidate Larry Turner's primary address is not in the city of San Diego and also claims he doesn't live at the addresses he used to register to vote, which, if true, means he couldn't run for mayor. I went directly to Turner to try and get to the bottom of this. Where do you live? Yeah, I've said it every time. I live currently in San Diego in Ocean Beach. Voter registrations in the lawsuit show Turner changed his registration from El Cajon to a home in the East Village in July and then from the East Village to an Ocean Beach address in November, where he claims he currently lives. I own a property out in El Cajon. Uh, I don't live there. My home is in Ocean Beach for a little while. Uh, I had resided in East Village before getting the place in Ocean Beach. According to the city clerk, mayoral candidates must be a registered voter and a resident in the city 30 days prior to the date you file your nomination. Turner signed under penalty of perjury on December 1st, claiming he is a resident and a registered voter and has been for at least 30 days. Yeah, my stuff is in OB. That's where I live. But the lawsuit and declaration with information from a private investigator claims otherwise. All available evidence, and let me emphasize all, that's available publicly or to a private investigator shows no hits for Mr. Turner in the city of San Diego. Attorney Bob Ottilie filed this suit and claims Turner has not been validly registered at the East Village or Ocean Beach address because he hasn't lived there. I mean, as recently as last night, he couldn't be found uh, in Ocean Beach but his cars and lights were on at the house in El Cajon. This declaration claims there's no utility record in San Diego for Turner and no record of a U.S. Postal Service change of address or mail forwarding to either San Diego address. Plus, the investigator says he watched Turner's El Cajon address, saw his vehicles there, and the next morning in January saw Turner leave the house. And they've had a private eye following around my one-year-old and two-year-old and my wife. Yeah, really good use of money. If you really live here, provide the evidence. I have all the evidence that I lived where I said I lived. Uh, I have the letters from the people that were my neighbors to prove that. I've got leads, I've got checks. So are you planning to turn over that evidence yeah. to show? Sure am. When yep. are you going to do that? As soon as we have a time to do that. The person behind the suit is a woman named Helen Vandiver, who claimed to have heard rumblings last month that one of the mayoral candidates didn't live in San Diego. Don't know who she is. I, I, would, I would venture a guess. She has some connection to the mayor and his PACs. I'm not involved with any of the candidates in this race. I'm not involved. He keeps attacking the mayor. I've never, I have no idea that the mayor even is aware of this case. The mayor is not involved in this case. Uh, this is a case brought by somebody that just lives out in the neighborhood that cares about San Diego as I do. Reporting in San Diego, I'm Zara Barker.